the next topic in this uh, operating system session is related to access matrix now what is an access matrix in the previous session we already seen what is a domain right so domain here the same value so when you go for your domain domain here represents a user right or it can be a process or any role whatever you are giving so a process will be executed by a particular user so this can be even a process and the other value here will be an object so when you see this matrix as you all know matrix is a combination of rows and columns so rows here are nothing but your domains which specify a specific user or a process executed by that particular user and coming to your columns are nothing but columns here will call them as objects so this can be your objects where f1 and f2 f3 are related to your files or it can be a software objects as well as your hardware objects and this is a hardware object right and now when you see the combination of a row and a matrix here we call that as a cell so when you go for a cell so cell is nothing but combination of i comma j so this particular cell indicates that a process which is been executing in domain 1 on file 1 will have a permission known as read so read is an access right specified to domain 1 for a specific object f1 so this is your access matrix so permissions can be read write as well as execute now coming to the next one here domain switch so domain switch is nothing but as you see this particular matrix we are even including d1 d2 d3 and d4 domains here so pertaining to a domain if you have a word switch the switch it means that a process which is executing in one domain one of the domain can be switched to other domain so we'll see how the switching can be done now when you just see this intersection it is uh, d1 comma d2 so in d1 and d2 you have an option of switch it means that a process which is executing in d1 can be switched to domain d2 so it can be done similarly when you concentrate on this particular row this is nothing but switch here you are getting it as d2 comma d3 right intersection so when you go for this particular thing d2 comma d3 here so it is presently in d2 so you can make this process to switch to d3 similarly when you see this particular combination it is d2 comma d4 so when i go for d4 a process which is being executing in d2 can be switched to d4 right so and when you see this particular thing in d4 it is an intersection of d4 and d1 so this indicates that a process which is being executing in d4 can be switched to d1 so domain switch indicates how a process can be moved from one particular domain to other domain that depends upon this keyword switch now the next operation which we can perform on this access matrix is copyright copyright in the sense the same operation you can give a right to other particular domain so one domain can give an access of the same operation other domain now when you just see this particular column d2 has an operation which can perform a read operation so against read you have an asterisk symbol so this indicates that that particular domain can give this read operation right it can say to some other domain that you perform the same operation so when you see this table a and b since d2 has an option of read star means this the same read operation from f2 column can be copied into some other domain so it should be in the same column so from one column to other column you can just copy or it can even be given to d1 and when you are so here you have two variations of it so two variations are nothing but you will be just making a copy so if you have a write is copied from access i comma j to access k comma j it is nothing but related to your cells so when you are making a copy so the first copy can be if i'm just making a copy so read star to read i can just go for deleting this read star so in that case we'll not call may raya make it as a copy but we'll call it as a write right the other variations can be you can just make a copy so read star you have a copyright so here you can just give a read operation to this but don't include star against this so if i'm not including this it means that i'm not giving permission to d3 so that it can transfer it rights to somebody so these are two variations of copyright
on the same access matrix if a particular domain or a user domain is nothing but a user or a process right so if you are given a permission as a owner as a owner you can perform the operations of additions and deletions pertaining to your rights so as a d2 has a read a copyright operation as well as he is a owner so he can add his own right so here when you see this particular table he is inserting he is making operation right to be included and even the right operation to be included for some other domain so as a owner you have all facilities to either add the rights in the same column or delete the rights in the same column now when you want to actually implement this when you are going for implementation of this access matrix it can be done in four ways one is related to your global table access list for objects capability list for domains and the one, last one is your lock key mechanisms so when you go for the global table as the name implies global table here will be again in the form of a matrix where you have rows and columns and the cells here so here this global table is a triple ordered cell where you have a domain pertaining to the user and this is an object it can be a file or a cpu or a printer and these are nothing but different right sets so you whether you are able to read write or well as execute so all these are maintained in a single file so whenever an operation m so when you want to perform an operation m on a particular object with this particular domain you first check in the table whether that particular operation you can the whether this particular process in this domain can perform an operation m on the object j if that is been reflected in the table then you access has been given otherwise you get an error condition other way of implementing your access matrix is in the form of access list so for each object you maintain a set of list set of list in the sense if you go for an object you identify what are all the domains object can perform in which domain an object can execute and what are the rights so if you are performing some operation when i say an operation m it is nothing but it is one among your access right so operation can be a read operation write operation or or execute operation so here if you are performing some operation if r wants to perform read operation on a particular file right so for this particular file one file is a object right so for this file one you maintain the list of or uh, rights that can be performed by a particular domain so each file will maintain a combination of a domain and the rights so when i want to perform this so first i'll check the access list whether read operation can be done by this particular domain on this file if only then you will be allowed to access otherwise it gives an error so when you are getting in that particular error you can go for checking the default list also which is present other than the access list now we have the very uh, next way of implementing this access matrix which is related to capability list so capability list here is nothing but it will be maintained in two uh, way format where the first will the first field is related to your object and it describes what type of object it is and what operations you can perform on what uh, operations can be performed on that particular object so capability list will be maintaining in this particular way and we have the fourth variant of implementation where it is a lock key mechanism when you go for your lock key mechanism object will have a lock and the domain will have a key so when you so object is having a lock whereas domain is having a key so when you want to perform an operation m you see that whether the object key is matching with that particular lock so if you have both of these two, when you, when you want to open a lock you require a key right so whether the corresponding key is present for that particular lock so when that operation can be performed so these are the different ways in which an access matrix can be implemented in operating system